Hey, hi. Um, yeah, today I just wanted to sh um, kind of like discuss with you a bit about uh, the possibility of a nuclear war. Um, this very unknown catalyst, um, negative catalyst on the stock market um, is actually kind of, um, so far I've not been priced in yet because, um, but there's just a couple of very strange uh, activities that has been happening, you know, like um, uh, Russia hitting the oil processing plant near port of city of Odessa, and um, which is the last port available for Ukraine. And usually I think, you know, for uh, uh, invading country, they would like to keep this kind of power plants available. Um, I know this could be actually like a closing out all the ports that are critical to Ukraine um, to ship out all their wheat and grain and all that, right? Um, it's like, um, and also importing the food supplies and all that. Um, so they only have left with one side, which is the side that faces the west side that faces the Poland because um, pretty much three sites two land and one sea has been surrounded. The The other part is pretty strange is um, the sudden disappearance of troops in um, uh, Kiev, the capital of um, um, this one. Um, yeah, the, 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 the sudden withdrawal of uh, troops and that basically there's no reason as to why they were doing it, um, you know, uh, satellite image confirmed, it's a um, evacuate, it's a, like a sudden kind of uh, evacuate uh, withdrawal, um, even though war is actually still going on. Um, usually, I know, I mean, I hate to say this, right? Um, there could be a 1% chance that, um, um, you know, there could be a 1% chance that they wanted to withdraw their troops so they can send a low yield nuclear warheads to the city of Kiev, you know, so that all the Russian forces are safe. Um, because this is something that I, I think um, may happen. Uh, of course, um, there are just a couple of... Uh, there are two types of nuclear weapons. Uh, the tactical weapon is uh, something called um, the low yield type of uh, uh, yeah weapons, and it can be carried by this uh, from the it can be shoot uh, launch from the sea or launch from the land. Um, yeah, so you know this is something that I feel that. Because the sudden withdrawal of Kiev, right? Somehow, I, I know the main media has been saying that um, it's because of um, the um, you know the failed attacks that they had and all that, you know. But um, I I would still think that um, they wouldn't need. If they really they want to reposition as well, they wouldn't need to actually withdraw and all the troops, you know, while, while they have already cornered attack from different areas of Kiev, you know. Um, yeah, they have difficulty entering the city center. So, but total withdrawal and it's so sudden, it's actually pretty strange to me. And um, yeah, so does this smallest uh, nuclear weapon, both in size and yield, have entered US services? Um, there's something called a low grade uh, type of uh, nuclear weapon. Um, yeah, so I kind of wanted to share with you a couple of uh, once unthinkable is now back within the realm of possibility. A single modern nuclear weapon hitting in a major American city would be many times worse than the Hiroshima or Nagasaki. It would be. So this news came from CNBC just uh, today, saying that you know what was uh, seemed to be unthinkable, which is now kind of like 
within the horizon. Uh, this is from the United Nations Secretary. He just said it, you know. So I have a feeling that some something funny is uh, cooking, you know, because Russia is always, you can, can never predict what they want to do. You know, first, they looking like they don't even want the pots anymore, you know. That's why they, they burn it. This is the last pot that is used by Ukraine to uh, receive things and send out things. So, um, yeah, it's pretty strange. And uh, I, I think I'm most puzzled with the fact that... Yeah, so I'm, I'm most puzzled by the fact that... There was... You have experience at this of trying to document, preserve the evidence, if you will, to build the case while also prosecuting a war. How will that play out? So this is another uh, gentleman that talks about the sudden withdrawal of troops. It's just really strange. I, I, I'm not sure. So just putting out there and see uh, if you've got any ideas or comments, uh, please, you know, type below and, you know, let's share this thing together. Um, yep. Yeah, thank you very much.